I'm showing you how to get baritone for 1.21.3. So to get it, you want to actually head over to Meet Your Client's official website, meetyourclient.com. This is going to be linked down in the description below, together actually with my Discord server, which actually contains a bunch of other clients and the like. So I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, here below the Meet Your Client downloads, there is also a baritone download. So to download this, you can simply click on that and the download will automatically start. Now this is, of course, compatible with Meteor Client as well. If you want that, you can download it too. I will link my Meteor Client tutorial down in the description. Now, in this case, to use Baritone, you need the Fabric Loader for 1.21.3. If you don't have that yet, or you're not sure where to get it, then that also will be linked down in the description below. Anyways, as you can see, I have Baritone in my downloads over here, and I want to simply press on the Windows and R buttons at the same time, or keys. Uh, and you, in the box that pops up, you want to type in App Data, just like so. Then hit Enter or click on OK. And then in this folder that opens up over here, you want to head into the folder called Roaming, then .minecraft, and then go into the folder that is called Mods, right over there. Then simply drag this baritone file into the Mods folder like that and you're good. You can close up both of these, open up the Minecraft launcher, and launch Fabric for 1.21.3. Now inside of Minecraft, I'll just quickly load into a single player world and show you how to use this. So Baritone is mainly used through the chat, um, and is used using commands. To access these commands, you want to, instead of using the default prefix, which is the slash for for example, slash give over here, you want to use the hashtag, right? And this is the list for all the commands. Now, this version of Baritone has autofill, which is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love autofill. It makes it so much easier to use, but I'm briefly going to be showing you how to use it anyways. If you want a full in-depth tutorial, then that will be in the description. Anyways, you can simply type in hashtag help over here, and that'll give you... Um, a list of commands you can hover above these and you'll get a description uh, and as you can see you can uh, there's a descriptions over here as well you can click on these and then you'll get a bunch of information just printed in the chat for that command including the actual usage as you can see anyways we can cycle through uh, pages that are gonna get put in the chat over here as you can see these are all of the commands that this client has quite a lot of them and as i said i'm just going to be going through this briefly so there's a few things that well get used often first off the hashtag goal command this is a location in your world and you can set it with commands anyways in this case i think i'm going to just set my current location like this now as you can see this area is marked at the goal then I can use the hashtag path command, and that is going to path me towards the goal. Of course, you can set the goal uh, to any set of coordinates that you want. Now, also useful is the hashtag go to command. Basically, this works in the same way. Well, in a similar way. Instead, it allows you to go to something. For example, I'll take spruce logs. As you can see, there's a bunch of spruce trees around me here. Um, spruce log. There it is. Enter. And now it'll bring me over to the closest spruce log to my location. As you can see, it's going to take me through some water over here. That's absolutely fine, though. And here I am. This is apparently the closest spruce log to me. Now, obviously, that isn't very useful just yet. Of course, it can be with, for example, hashtag go to and then chest, which, of course, that'll bring you to the closest chest. Maybe that'll be a little more useful. However, you can also use the hashtag mine command, and that'll actually mine things for you. In this case, I'll just go spruce log again, and then it's going to bring me over to the closest spruce logs to my location and it is going to start mining them uh, and it'll do that infinitely and you can uh, just simply type hashtag stop in chat and then it's going to stop with that because uh trust me that i i, I don't support these for the uh, deforestation guys don't do it don't do it don't do it you can also of course set 
large distances to travel across, which is a little more logical if you're going to use something like Baritone to Pathfind. Anyway, say I set my goal to 500 blocks in the X direction, and then I will get, say, hashtag path, just like this. And um, now I'll be walking to that. It's just about 500 blocks away. I don't know, I, I'm not sure how long it's going to take. So I can type hashtag proc in chat just like this. And this is going to display some information. As you can see, now I've gone a little ways. But um, I wanted to stop for a second. So I can just type in hashtag pause just like this. And that is going to pause the route. Um, it'll still be here as you can see. And I can then type hashtag resume just like this. And it'll be resumed. Or I can simply type hashtag stop, hashtag cancel, any of those things, and then it's going to stop this route for me. Let's uh, actually do that right quick, real quick. Of course, we need to uh, type correctly. Finally, a few last things I want to bring your attention to are the hashtag waypoints command. This allows you to set waypoints along your route, as well as the hashtag home command. This allows you to set a location a uh, home this will be saved inside of the client as long as you don't delete it of course and then you can always use the command to just immediately start traveling home anyways right now that was basically that thank you ever so much for watching and i do of course hope to see you again in the next one bye bye